Oh, you would, you would love if I just gave you the tech news, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, you would love that. You probably wouldn't think a mouse would be responsible for a major security issue, but that's just what happened with Razor's mice over the weekend. That's right, Razor is training their growing cyborg mice. A security researcher on Twitter posted screen cap footage of how the vulnerability works. You plug in a Razer mouse or its wireless dongle, then Windows Update will fetch the installer program and run it with system privileges, uh-oh, which allows you to open up File Explorer and PowerShell also with elevated privileges, making it easier for a bad actor to install malware. The good news is that this attack can't be carried out remotely. You need actual physical access to a computer and a Razer mouse to do it. Look out, libraries. It's kind of weird there. At the, at the local library, everyone's bringing in these gaming mice. Razor is working on a fix, but in the meantime, if anyone shady shows up at your door with a Razor mouse, just don't answer it. It looks like the Mac Mini is going to be getting some big changes soon. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And a happy new year. And a happy new year. It looks like the Mac Mini is going to be getting some big changes soon. It's going through puberty. <laughs> Although we've already gotten a Mac Mini with Apple's new M1 chip inside, it didn't feature many other changes from the previous Intel models. However, signs are pointing to a new Mac Mini that not only has the updated M1X processor, but other significant modifications that will make it more high-end. Louis Vuitton is involved. Ethernet ports. <laughs> Oh my gosh, can you imagine? With the new Mini expected to feature more ports and a different design with maybe a magnetic power connector and a plexiglass top surface? We'll probably end up seeing these M1X models this fall around the same time Apple is expected to debut its new MacBook Pros. If you're a fan of Android Auto, but you've already upgraded your phone to the Android 12 beta, you might have noticed that you can't use Android Auto on your phone screen while driving anymore. Take these training wheels off, Google. <laughs> ah! Let me live! The move comes as Google tries to get users onto Google Assistant driving mode instead, which is actually quite similar, except it's more of a feature set that integrates into existing apps rather than a separate app. This change will only really affect those who don't have an Android Auto compatible screen built into their cars, and instead use it directly from the phone with a clamp to go on your dash or windshield. The new driving mode is supposed to simplify the experience for drivers, as many found it easier to just interact with the phone via voice than use the phone's apps clunky UI. I'm just waiting for the time when we don't even have phones and we just think things and they happen. Take me to the consulate. I <laughs> Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by iFixit. They make compact toolkits with all the essential bits you need to fix your electronics. From mini kits with 16 bits to full repair toolkits to start your repair business even, iFixit has you covered. They've also got over 70,000 repair manuals with photos and step-by-step -step instructions so you can work worry-free knowing you've got quality parts also backed by iFixit's lifetime warranty. So fix your stuff today by checking out iFixit.com slash techlink. Quick bits? What? After everything we've been through? <laughs> a new PS5 model is going on sale, and similar to past revisions of the PlayStation, this one is, well, small station. It's what I usually call the second one. It weighs 300 grams less than the original model, which James tells me is it's about, about a third of a keyboard. <laughs> and there's also a base stand that can be adjusted with a thumb screw instead of needing to bust out your old screwdriver, which actually isn't that bad to do if you got iFixit, like I said. Oh. <laughs> of course, it doesn't look like this new PS5 will be any easier to get your hands on than the old one, so what's the point? Just kick the wheel around. <laughs> Microsoft has some egg on its face today after 38 million sensitive records were breached and the default settings of its power apps are apparently to blame. These records included COVID vaccination status, oh. social security numbers, oh. and home addresses stolen from American Airlines, government bodies, and Microsoft itself. No. Wait, what apps had all that information? The power apps. They're holding on to power. Earlier this month, the Poly cryptocurrency network was hit by a hacker that stole over $600 million worth of digital coin. Well, the hacker finally returned the rest of the money today, and Polly has even offered the hacker a bug bounty reward and a job as its chief security advisor. So who said crime doesn't pay? Disclaimer, don't actually go out and commit crimes as a way to get a job. 
Although that's what, that's what white hat hacking is. Hackers are stealing our jobs. Speaking of crypto, PayPal has finally started offering the ability to buy and sell crypto on its platform outside of the US, with customers in the United Kingdom seeing the feature roll out. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash will be supported, along with transaction amounts between one and 15,000 of Her Majesty's pounds. Soon we'll be saying Her Majesty's NFTs. She's got, she's hoarding them. Just go. And CPU AIO coolers with little screens on them are nothing new, but one manufacturing is really pushing the limit here. As Baroche, I don't know if that's what you're saying, if that's what you say, but they've released a model with a 1440p display. The idea is to display tons of data from IDA64, offering users a lot more detail than just current temperatures. And because it uses HDMI, you can even use it as a very, very small monitor. I would love to bend over and look at my PC rather than just opening IDA64. We don't even have enough laptops with 1440p screens, but we're getting them on freaking coolers? I'm upset! What about the gamers? Come back on Wednesday for more tech news and subscribe. We never tell people to do that. Tabs but are wide open on Wednesday. We were <laughs> hot and cold. It's a party.